Hello everybody, my name is Ben Yard and I'm the Somerset Whittler and today we're going to be going through the basics of carving a nose for a small caricature. It's a bit of a windy day outside so you might hear a bit of the wind. Uh, in the UK we've just had Storm Unis coming in. It's supposed to be bringing in 100 mile per hour winds. It's just hitting my back door at the moment so if you hear a lot of that that's, that's what that is. So we're stuck indoors. I'm um, waiting to do a bit of a journey myself, going off to Bristol later on to watch the Lion King, so I'm waiting for the storm to die down. So in the meantime, we're going to do a YouTube video showing how to cut a nose. Now, uh, it seems easy enough to do a nose, but I, this is the actual feature I struggle with more so than I do the eyes, which is a little unusual. But let's see how we go. So here's a block of wood. I've got a nice close-up, so excuse if it blurs every now and again. I've darkened it black so we can see the cuts easier. Now, first of all, we're going to talk about it on the corner. So we're going to ignore any hair type or anything we're going to have up here. This is just going to be about the nose itself. So we would find where we're going to cut in our brow, which we are going to, we're going to put in there. I may jiggle around a little bit while I get my camera and myself in a position I want to get into. And then we would locate the nose. We're going to find the depth that we want for the nose. So we're going to say, let's go about there. We'll just cut in nice and deep and come up from underneath pretty straightforward eh that's not too difficult cutting it in nice and easy and again this is for beginners so i know the more experienced people out there would probably just go in and try and do that in one or two cuts as quickly as they can so that you don't get that constant cut and cuts to cut nice in hair. I cut that quite smooth. Like this is the basic nose. And then what we would do is at a four, just about a 45 degree angle, we'll just take a small slither out of the nose at each end, trying to keep that with some sort of symmetry. Again, a couple of cuts just to make sure we can get it how we want it. There's our nose. Now the eyes, we would have coming off the brow and down to create where our eye will end up going. So this isn't an eye video. There's one already done on, on that, on my YouTube channel. But this is just so that we can get a picture of where we're going with this. And again, it's on a very small piece of scrap password that I've got. So I'm not gonna worry about the hair, which will be located up here somewhere. We're not doing a full caricature, we're just doing the nose. So there we go, we want to get that eye as deep or where we would want it located. And then we'll do the same on this side. And again, this is an eye tutorial, so we're not going to get too into the aspects the eye or its area, but you can see how we've kind of developed that there. Now we would take off this sharp corner and we could round the nose now into that brow. Now some people would want to round that nose in. You could have that nose running right up into the brow if you wanted. On this one, we've obviously cut that in. Okay, still quite simple. Then we're going to do a roll cut from the top back into the eye, like so. Basic, do that again. As you get better at this, you should be able to roll that down and into the eye socket to form the eye and the nose. Okay, and then we do the same on the opposite side, slightly different cut because of whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Be how that rolls. So you just wanna make sure that you level all that up for symmetry as well. I think I need to strike my knife, but I will do that when I start. Now you can see that I've got ink all over my fingers. That will dirty up the carving as I go. Hopefully you can see that now. There. Right, just knocking off the corner here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife blade. As a beginner, you wanna get a pencil for this part because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the flare of the nostril. So we would, uh, let's see if I've got it. a bit difficult with the, now I've marked it all black. But we're gonna 
take out. Let's just shake some of this off a minute. Just try and make this look a little bit easier for people to see. Still keeping the back on the nose. So we're going to go from here down in the smile line. And of course, you can angle this however you want your character to be. And then we need to copy that. Unless we're doing a certain expression, we want to keep that as symmetrical as we can. Okay. So we will take our knife. We will go slightly past that nostril flare there. And we will dig down, like so. What we will do is turn that piece upside down, is we will come back in and we will make a cut, a triangular cut from here towards the nose, but not going back up to the complete cut. So it's kind of cutting this corner piece out. So it'll be a bit like there. And then we'll come back and we'll just hopefully, with a bit of luck, knock that corner piece in. Then along that line, we will just follow that in with a smile line. Okay, and then we'll do the same on the other side. So that line, all the way down, like so. Hold this one this way up. Then we'll come in here, across towards the nose and stop so that we can knock that triangle out there. Easier on that side for me because of the way I'm handed. And then we'll just follow that line up. And stop there. I have come in at different angles, but we can adjust the angles. So it helps if you better read a pencil and you Find it a bit better than I just did. Like so. And then we can shape that into that nose. What this allows us to do is have the nose not just sticking out, but actually going in. And that's what we want to achieve because the nose is actually in the face, not just on the face. Okay, see that? Then, because we've gone slightly past the nostril then, we can start to shape it if we want to, and we can come in just taking small slithers along that nose line. And just shaping that nostril into the smile line. Like so. Other side, turning the piece depending on your hand. We'll come in. From this side, and we will just shape that nostril, trying to keep it very similar to the other side. nose we would want. Shake that to suit. Okay, so if we take off and round off some of this nose now, that would be the basics of shaping a nose. And the difference between doing it like this and just slicing a nose on the face is that the nose is actually in the face or gives you the effect that it is in the face as well as on the face. So uh, everything after that is just shaping and rolling and cutting and doing what you 
need to do, play around with it. But we have got that nose, with that cut that we did there, we have got that nose in the face. See? Play around with that eye line, we can put moustaches in and faces in and all that type of stuff, but we have got that nose now. Into the face. That is basically what we're teaching at this stage. We can have that nose crawling up here into the eyebrow. Not something I'd recommend necessarily for a beginner at this stage, but we would just follow that down into that stage. And then what that allows you to do is cut and just get that nose to pop a little bit more. is just going to pop off the face a little bit more and then we can we can shape that for expression going back into the eyebrows themselves So we're starting to get an expression via the nose. We can even round the, from the nostril at this stage. Again, this is a beginner's instruction, so you don't really need to go to this extreme. I think we developed what we needed to do with just those no, nose cuts as we were. Just round it off. Okay. What we could even do is if you've got a dockyard or a micro gouge is just cutting a couple of nostrils. This gouge is a little bit big for this particular one, I think, but we'll give it a go. And always remember to use your pencil because it will give you a better judgment of where we are. The light's not clever where I am. See if I can get it to flare a bit more without completely cutting the nose off. camera every last little imperfection is on display but we just that corner piece that we cut into that's the piece we want to get back as far as we can that will make the nose pop out one of these. okay so that nose is there we go that's a bit better the lights caught that a bit better we'll pop out see that cut we've made up into the eye there we can actually build the eye into there then. But, but listen, that's for another day. Yeah. It's our nose. Now, what you might think is that's really quite easy to do a nose like that. That's on the corner. Easy on the corner. So how would we do that on the round, as they say, or on the flat? In this case. So what you would do is you would work out. Let's say, uh, making this up a little bit as we go along. Let's say we have a head that's about here. I'll go back a little bit there. Go back a little bit there. What you'd want to do is cut your head shape in. Let's do that real quick.
this is kind of how I would start on one of the little guys. I don't know how big this is in my hand. About two and a half inches, I guess. What you would be doing here is you'd be working out your center line. Uh, center line is going to be about here. You can run that all the way down the body to keep your symmetry right. And then you're going to be shaping this to bring this corner into here so that you can do the whole process as we did just then for a nose like so. So that would look a little bit like this. And when you get down to these small ones, it can get tricky. So just wearing a glove, unlike me, because you are going to get close to your fingers. Probably going to want to pull that head out a little bit more by bringing it in, like say here. So have that head. What you're going to do is you're going to pull these parts back and you want this angle <coughs> to be roughly <coughs> excuse me above the ear because then that would help you with your nose so if you can pull that bit back towards roughly where your shoulder's going to be then you can pull this bit in to where your pencil marking is and then you're creating that round part of the face but you're also coming to a point where the nose is going to be. Again, pull this part back. So you've got that corner piece, so that will help with the ear that you'll do later. And just pull that into that pencil line that we have. Almost touch that pencil line, but you don't want to create a complete sharp corner, because all you're going to end up doing is trimming that off anyway. So you're going to end up with something similar to that. Like that. We can shape that however we want. And then we've got the same process again, really. We can start with the brow. We can start with the bottom of the nose. We can start, let's start with the bottom nose. So we're going to put our nose in here. Okay, we've got the same sort of process. I'm going to put our brow in here. Remember what we were saying earlier on, we're going to bring that down for our eyes. It's not that old screen, it's getting in my way. Okay, and then we go down across the other side. Just take your time here and make sure you level all this up and try and get that point on that nose to be in the middle of where your eyes are going here, okay? Remember, we were gonna take a little bit up on the corners as well, just to get that nostril flare. Again, use your pencil where you can. You can clean it off later. That's, that will help you keep your symmetry correct, okay? And we can turn that one way and we can use that roll again. Roll into the nose and into the eyes to shape the eyes, shape the nose. Here we go again. Just like so. Then that line we were talking about, which is going to come from the nostril, straight down. From the nostril, straight down. It's just the outlines of what we're doing. We're not getting into any details or anything like that. So we would take our knife. We would go with the line that we've drawn. Go with the knife. We will go with the line we've drawn. Okay. Okay. Turn it upside down. This particular one, if you're right-handed, we'll take that cut. We'll go back towards the nose. 
and we'll trim it. That's a very small one, so we'll go back and we'll do that again. And that is where we are putting our nose back into our face. Again, right way up for me this time because we're right handed. So that cut is coming across there and into the nose, not to the top of the cut, into the nose. Trim it, take your time at this stage. When you're practicing, it doesn't matter how many cuts it's gonna take, although it's gonna look a bit rough with too many cuts. You do as you practice, wanna reduce the amount of cuts that you're taking and see how that cut has gone deep. Then we can round underneath it which will allow us to shape the nose even on such a small figure like this. We can shape that nose in underneath. Follow that smile line down, give it a small trim. See how we have created what will become a mouth mound, but we won't get into that either because this was about noses. So there we go, so we're creating that nose. And what we did last time, we followed that line that's already up there just to trim away a little bit, just to bring the nose away from the face. Go back in, just trim that how you see fit. I just want to round him up a little bit. Okay, see how we've got that nose, that eye line, see the indentations going in where we need to, see where that bite's going in, that corner piece is going in. So this is where we want to go, this is where we want to go deep into here so that we've got that, that nose into the face. That's what's going to make it come alive, that's what's going to make it pop a little bit for you. Other side, same scenario, other side we're going to just follow that line around. So we can separate the nose a little bit from the face. We're gonna go deeper into there so we can get the nose into the face. Okay, and then just take some time to make sure that it's uh, sort of symmetrical. Got some fuzzy bits in there. Just take your time to Make sure it's symmetrical and you're happy with it and you can shape it however you see fit. And if you want to, we can go with a line to separate that nose. Get it deeper into the face. And we can follow that line, smooth that into the corner of the eye. With these type of cuts, you can then create different types of eyes, which we've gone to through on a different video. You can create eye mounds by some of these cuts, but just basically, that's our basic nose. We can go in on that nostril and just round that up to try and create a bit more of a nostril flare. nostril flare on there and then the other side just round it in Got little scoop cuts okay this video I'm doing is much longer than I anticipated there we go we can round that nose off now with the tip of our blade we can just go around if your ultimate goal is flat plane carving you're going to want to do these in less cuts and more precise but probably a little bit less, um, less detail required. And then just clean up some of these areas. Don't forget to get that nose into the face, not onto the face, so there we go. So there's a basic nose. Again, if we wanted to separate the eyes, we could have, we could bring that back a little bit we could bring that nose up into the eyes. And we could take a slither at both sides. 
This is where we can get some of our expressions from. Okay, and then we can actually come in from above to create that eye or eyebrow in this case. Okay, you can see where we can go with all this. This was all based off that nose, where we were going with the nose. Again, this was a nose demo. Effectively, what we're looking for is that nose going back into the face. See the tip of my blade there? See, that goes right back in there. And it does this side as well, nice and deep. And round that nose off. And again, even on a small piece like this, if we wanted to, again, I would probably need a slightly smaller gouge to make this look really good, but we can just go in and we can just create a couple of pushing me luckier with this gouge on this nose. Again, little nose. Probably not coming out too well on the on the screen, but you can see that there, look. See how we've got that nose into the face here. Obviously, we've got some cleaning up to do. Quick video. We've got our nostril, we've got it going into the eye area. Again, I'm trying to keep it in focus. And then we've created an eyebrow off of that. But that is just, just some of the real basics of how you can get that nose right. Of course, a bit of symmetry wouldn't go amiss. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. If it is, drop me a comment. If there's something you'd like some more details on, let me know. I do plan on doing some of my uh, little guys um, very soon. I'll maybe do a two or three part um, series on whittling guys from a stick. So perhaps we'll, we'll do uh, maybe Batman. Maybe the milkman, or maybe the old fella. Maybe we'll do something like that on a three-step video process. But that was effectively a bit of a nose tutorial for beginners. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, if it was worthy, just drop us a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll keep them coming. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Try to avoid these storms. See you soon.